Good morning. I'm Jonathan Smith, Certified Professional Yacht Broker with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can reach me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a 1989 Freedom 38 uh, decked out for blue water cruising or inshore cruising, whatever you prefer. Uh, has new electronics as of three years ago, has a 2001 Yanmar, um, good canvas as you can see behind me on the covers, and a well cared, cared for boat. Let's take a look around. You can see it has a radar mast with Garmin radar. All the electronics were updated three years ago, so it's newer stuff. You can also see there's dinghy davits. The boat comes with a dinghy and an outboard. See uh, the bimini. Uh, you also see a solar panel up on top. Well, that's also newer. Look at the unstayed carbon mast. And this is a Freedom that has a little bit of a swim platform, as you see. It's kind of nice. It's been in use for most of the summer, so we use a little bit of cleaning right now on the outside. Taking a look at the port side. Canvas looks good. Got rock door anchor up on the front. Uh, there's also a newer windlass. A lot of newer equipment on this boat. The hatches are new as well. And the ports. Yeah, we'll go aboard. Uh, we'll point out the details as Take we go. Take a look at the electronics. These were done about three years ago. We have a GPS map 741XS that does your charting duties and your radar duties and as well it uh, handles wind and there is a newer wind transducer on the top of the mast uh, and there's also AIS uh, and here we have the original data marine depth these things are great they just keep on ticking and so that's a kind of a standalone unit separate from the rest of the system there's two autopilots there's a wheel pilot which works uh, and that's just good for kind of motoring around when it's not too extreme. Uh, but if you're going offshore and doing some sailing, you're going to be better off with this low amp draw, uh, kind of an analog autopilot. And uh, that's a rebuilt unit. Works really good. And it, it ties in under the deck. So that's the way to go if you're sailing. And here's your controller, kind of a basic, basic unit. You turn it where you want to go and that's it. Simple and efficient. Uh, the GPS, by the way, does uh, interface with an iPad or iPhone, so you can use your iPad as a, uh, another display controller, a repeater, if you will. So you can navigate from down at the uh, nav station below if you want. Let's see, we have a Ritchie Compass, looks good, and a windless control while we're here. And here's our controller for the other autopilot. Uh, there it is. It's like an ST4000. Raymarine unit. And we have stereo speakers out here and two shore power inlets, one for the house and one for air conditioning. Take another look around the front of the cabin. You see the lines are all organized neatly on hangers. The canvas is good. There's a connector in between the Dodger and the Bimini. Up on top of the Bimini, there's a solar panel as well. And here we have a uh, uh, a throw bag, outboard motor bracket, our davits, Let's do a little tour of the deck. You can see the wood's in nice shape. This was uh, sea talled about six months ago, still looking good. The uh, hatches have been replaced. These two were replaced this year, 2017. The forward hatch was replaced two or three years ago. It's a new windlass up here. Here's our controllers, Lumar windlass, see the chain. Now that's an oversized Rockna anchor. It's one size up from what's spec for this boat. And as well, there's a Fortress anchor uh, to use off the stern if you need or as a backup. The anchor roller itself is custom. Uh, it's larger than original on this boat, custom made. This boat is tough, made to go offshore if you want to. Got a little whisker pole you can use on the jib when you're uh, running downwind. That's about the only time you need it. Let's look down at the port side of the boat. 
can see the wood, the wood glistening in the sun. Here's our deck pump out for the waste tank. Here's our traveler for the main. The rod holders do a little trolling when you're sailing offshore. Let's talk about the sails and canvas a little bit. The main sail is a hard stick. They're both sails are hard sticks. And it's a heavy duty cruising main, fully battened. And it's taken off by the owner and cleaned every year. It goes up and down uh, the mast really smoothly. And you can also see here that we have lazy jacks. There's three of them. And this thing drops in an instant. Uh, the main also has two very deep reefs. So you can reduce sail area in a blow. And of course we have the Hoyt Boom self-tacking jib up here. As well, there is a uh, spare jib halyard. So there's two jib halyards and two main halyards. See, we got a Dodger. Looks to be in decent shape. Bimini. And there, there is a connector in between as well. And up on top of the Bimini we have a solar panel. Bimini's a little tired, still works, but you can see a little, little tear here. So, you know, you might get one or two seasons out of it. Ed's antique cockpit table folds down. Go ahead, you can fold her down. Gets out of the way. There's a set of cockpit cushions, white vinyl, that are out right now. They could use a little cleaning, but you got them if you want them. All right, we're taking a look at the interior, the spacious interior of the Freedom 38. These cushions were done last year. It's umbrella material, one year old. Keegan Holly sole. And there is a table that drops down. We'll show you that in a little bit. Walking forward to port, we have a really good size head. So I would call it almost a double size head. Manual toilet. So vanity with sink and then the spigot pulls out to act as the shower. And the, uh, the opening hatch is new as of this year. Coming forward. Nice stateroom with a lot of storage. If you look immediately to starboard, we got these built-in drawers, closets, lockers, and a really good size V-berth. Nice, nice wood uh, walls all around. Just outside of the forward stateroom is a hanging locker. More cabinetry. Looking to starboard, we have a settee. Just after that is the nav station. A little bench that pulls out when you need it, want to sit, a dedicated nav station. You can see it's large enough for charts. Here's our electric panel, voltmeter, and an amp meter so you know uh, how much power you're draining when you got things on. Here's our VHF, an ICOM, and there's a remote VHF out at the helm. And aft we have a quarter berth stateroom. Definitely a double. Also with a lot of storage. Really rich wood in these boats. Well built boats. Take a look at the galley. Kind of a U-shaped, semi-U-shaped, L-shaped galley. Propane stove, three burners with an oven, and there are two propane tanks out in the outside locker. Very generous fridge freezer. You can see it's really deep. With some shelves. And it's operating right now, so it works. Microwave. A lot of storage. Behind these sliders. And another dry storage place. Pots and pans, etc. Over here on the countertop. Dual base and stainless sink. And it even comes with a clock and barometer by 
Williams and Plath. These are new as of uh, last year as well, and a little compass to tell you know which way you're facing when you're at anchor. It's a radar reflector. So all the opening ports and the opening hatches are all new. All right, we'll drop down the table now. Take the a look table out in full dining mode. You can see you can uh, dine one, two, three, four, five. And you can see behind where the table stores, there's a nice storage rack. You can keep glasses and plates in there if you want, whatever you want. And then we'll fold up this wing and shows you, show you what it looks like in two person mode. There it is with the wing down. There's just two of you. That's a nice way to cruise. Makes it easy to walk fore and aft to the stateroom. These Freedoms are well thought out boats. The headliner is all new, as well as the white walls around the uh, ports. So that's all been redone. You can see it looks really good. There's screens for the companionway, as well as the opening hatches up on deck. And then the new opening port lights, like this one here, also have screens. So the boat is fully screened if you want it to be. All right, let's talk about the electric system. These boats originally came with three Group 24s. This boat has been upgraded to four Group 27s. So you have three Group 27s uh, as house batteries and one that's a dedicated start battery. There's some separate switches here so you can shut off individual batteries. So if you have one bad battery, you can uh, separate it from the rest of the units and it won't drag the others down. There is an inverter, I'm not sure of the uh, the watts of the inverter and uh, as we mentioned there's a solar panel 150 watt yeah. solar panel uh, and then there's a controller a regulator for it that's able to handle much more you could put three more solar panels on or run it through the regulator if you ever wanted to all right so plenty of power um, a lot nice upgrades there and by the way to access the batteries which are underneath the nav station you lift up the cover and then there's a panel under here that lifts out we don't need to do it mm -hmm. and then that gives you access to the battery compartment you can see the finger hole there all right and of course there's a battery charger as well when you're plugged in shore power you can charge your batteries if you're at a dock the yanmar 3gm30 was installed in 2001 by a prior owner it gets regular service new impeller in fact i think it had two new impellers in the last year See the belts are in good shape. The hoses are nice. There's about 2,500 hours on it. The hour meter reads 1,500 and it works now. However, uh, there was a period there when there was a little less than 1,000 hours put on the engine when the hour meter wasn't working. So, you know, to be conservative, we'll add 1,000 hours to the hour meter and we'll say 2,500. And we're about to do a cold start. So you can hear her start up. It's not warm, it's actually cold. And uh, go ahead. Start it right up. And by the way, this uh, engine had a valve uh, adjustment just recently. So those are all good too. Good engines. Thanks for looking at this 1989 Freedom 38 with me. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith, certified professional yacht broker with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can reach me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.